Hey everyone, welcome to 2025. Today I'm going to show you how you can get access to $150,000 worth of cloud credits and how you can use them to use Cursor for free for as long as you have those credits for unlimited number of users. Now we're going to subscribe to a program called Founders Hub by Microsoft. It is a startup accelerator program that gives up to $150,000 in cloud credits. Using those credits, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Azure, we're going to deploy a GPT-4 O model, and then we're going to use it with Cursor. So usually when you're using Cursor, you have to pay $20 at least per month as a subscription fee. And Cursor has proved to be a wonderful product, it has been proved to be amazing for developers who need a co-pilot like Sidekick. The amount of features that Cursor provides has is mostly unmatched and I really love using cursor and I'm sure if you've not already used it you would love it too but $20 a month could be a tad bit expensive and if there's a way in which you can get it completely free of course um, that would be amazing right so today I'm going to show you how to do that so let's dive into it now what you need to do first is to go to this website called foundershub.startups.microsoft.com. Now this is actually a startup program, but you don't really need to have a startup ready or you don't do not need to have a legal entity created. In other words, you don't even need to have a product that is ready uh, to get started with this. It's very simple. All you need to do is click on apply with LinkedIn. Now the one bad thing about this program that I find is that they do not allow you to sign up using anything but your LinkedIn account, uh, which I can uh, understand because Microsoft wants to promote LinkedIn and they want us to use it. But I personally don't like it so much, but that's okay. You just go ahead and sign in with your LinkedIn account. And once you sign in, it will just ask you a bunch of questions, very straightforward, just fill in the data, whatever you can. And uh, what you'll get is within a matter of a day or two, you'll get access, you'll get an email on your account, uh, the account that you use with LinkedIn, the email ID that you use with LinkedIn, you'll get an email that you've been approved for the program and right off the bat, you will get access to $5,000 in credits. Now, once you get credits, this is something that you will see. As you see, I'm already logged in and I've already got $150,000 worth of credits approved. So this is not uh, impossible. Sure, there are a bunch of steps, there are a bunch of levels that you need to complete. Um, you get started with $5,000 and then it goes to $25,000 and then next step is $150,000 I think. But all you need to do is just keep progressing. The only major task is to utilize 50% of your credits before you can apply for the next batch. And yes, after a certain point, I think after you get access to $25,000 worth of credits, you would need a legal entity registered and they're going to do address verification. And you'll also need a domain and everything set up before you can get more credits. But I'm sure if you've already utilized $20, $25,000 worth of credits, you probably already have all of that. So it shouldn't be an issue, but even $5,000, which will at least last you for a year, is more than enough for you to play around with cursor and keep using it for a long term especially if you're trying to build a product as a founder um, this is going to be very helpful for you now once you have the credits um, what you can do is go to benefits and it will show you a bunch of benefits that you have that you get access to right all the way from microsoft 365 business premium to get enterprise visual store visual studio enterprise etc a lot of it my favorite is this as your benefit you see, I've already redeemed it, but all you need to do is just click on redeem. There would be a button over here that says redeem. Just click on it. It will take you to a site. You just need to enter your credit card information just in case you run out of credits, but mostly you won't run out of credits. And once you're able, once you're about to run out of your credits, uh, at least uh, once you've utilized 50% of your credits, you can request more. And that also is very quick. As you see, I've already have $150,000 worth of credits and you can also do that. Once you have reading the Azure credits, you can now go to portal.azure.com. So if you go to portal.azure.com, you'll see a screen like this. Yours might be different. What I'm seeing right here is a lot of uh, resources that I already have created for my startup. You might not see all of this, but you can al obviously, but you can always see this create resource button. And if you go to subscriptions, you would see Microsoft as your sponsorship as one of the subscription. This is the one that gives you access to the free credits that we're talking about. Once you have this, you can use it to create any number of resources on Azure. And as long as you don't utilize over and above your credits, you don't have to pay a single penny. 
once you have the sponsorship activated what you, what i want you to do is to go to ai.azure.com now ai.azure.com is the website where we'll create the ai project we'll create a deployment for gpt40 and that is what we're going to use with cursor so it's very simple go to ai.azure.com sign in with the account that you're using with azure in my case i'm signed in already and then go ahead and click on create project i'm going to create a new project call it cursor development go to customize just make sure that it says uh, your sponsorship that's it i'm going to leave the rest of it as it is uh, actually i'm just going to change the resource group to and choose one of the existing ones so that it's easy for me to manage all of these resources I'm going to go back and wait for the validate wait for this to finish validating resources yeah once it is done you can go here and click on create once you click on create in the background it will create all the resources necessary for your deployment um once that is done we'll be able to see the new project ready in the meanwhile i'm going to go to cursor.com and i'm going to download cursor for my mac if you are on windows or anything else you can um you can you you'll see the download button for that os but for me it's cursor looks like i clicked on it twice i'm just going to open one of these and i'm going to install cursor so you see while it is downloading the actual setup file this is also going on you see now it is creating the resources for me and i also have cursor being downloaded and installed in my pc Let's give it a few minutes for all of it to complete, and then I'll jump to the point where we have the resources ready. All right. So now that I have Cursor installed, um, I'm going to choose the default settings. I'm just going to install Cursor as a shell command, and I'm going to use VS Code. That is my favorite IDE. Comment down below what you love to use, and I'm going to click on Continue. I'm going to use all the extensions that I have in my VS Code setup. So it's just going to download all of them and install them on Cursor for me. In the meanwhile while this is being created I've opened an existing deployment existing project that I have and I'm going to deploy a model and show you how to do that so if you go to the project once you have it ready you'll click on the project you'll see a screen like this as you see I already have a couple of deployments what I need to do is now go to deployments here and click on deploy model and then deploy base model now it's going to show me all the models that are available uh o1 o1 preview etc they are not usually available uh in azure right now you need to request them and i've requested but i've still not received access but gpt40 is definitely available i'm going to click on this select gpt40 and click on confirm and it's going to ask me a few questions to set it to set it up i'm going to leave it all as it is and then and then just click on deploy you can obviously customize make sure you have support for enough tokens etc uh but if you do not set it up initially you can always go back here click on edit and it will open up a page that will allow you to tweak some of these parameters you see the i can increase the token rate limit all the way up till 450k uh this is going to be more than sufficient i'm just going to save and close all right So now that we have the model deployed I'm going to click on open in playground just make sure that the model is deployed this will here I'm going to select the new model GPT40 and I'm just going to say hi and if the model is deployed by now it will give me a message yeah so if I if you see a message then your model is ready but if you see a message that says the deployment is still in progress or ask you to try after a few minutes then it's because sometimes it takes time for the model to actually deploy uh so while you may see all the api credentials etc the model is not yet deployed and you might just want to wait for a few seconds before you try again in our case the model is deployed and we has code and we are still installing the extension so let's give it a few minutes for this to finish all right next thing they are asking me is to choose the data preferences i always like to choose privacy mode i do not want my code to sit in the cloud and then finally you need to go here click on login and it will take you to the login page um and if you don't already have an account you need to sign up i'm going to use my google account to log in just going to choose my default gmail account it will sign me up and then i'm going to click yes log in and then i have cursor ready is going to zoom in a little bit as you see now we have cursor set up 
uh, I can just open a new file and then decide let's try it out I'm going to choose JavaScript I'm going to add a comment uh, create a function all right it, it, it's assuming what I want to do so I'm just going to click on tab and then uh, it will give me some more code I'm going to tab again and then you see I've just created a simple function I don't I, I didn't even ask for it actually but you can always create a comment and then it will suggest what you want to do and you can write in your comment and then it will suggest you the code this is one of the features that are a lot more uh, do comment down below if you want me to cover all the different features cursor has and I'll be happy to do that but the next thing that we want to do is to make it entirely free now cursor gives you a two week trial but after two weeks you'll need to pay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on cursor over here go to settings and go to cursor settings once you're here you'll see on the left there is a pay there is a tab called models i'm going to click on it now these are all the models that are supported now what i want to do is use this as your api key and if you see it says here instead of open ai's api or pro you can use cursor at cost through the azure api what this means is if i go back to cursor go to pricing instead of paying for pro which actually is going to be the cost to for the model that they are going to use in the background i can provide the url and the key to my own model and then it will use it and then i do not have to pay for pay for pro so you need a bunch of details you need the base url deployment name and ap api key to do that you need to go back here to the ai.azure.com app i'm going to go back to deployments and you see gpt40 i'm going to copy the target uri let me zoom in i'm going to copy the target uri and then go here and paste it <coughs> and then paste it here and then I'm going to remove everything until open AI oh, sorry azure.com so I'm just going to leave it to this uh, whatever is the name of my deployment the base URL all the way up till azure.com open AI .azure make sure this is what you do then for deployment name you see on deployment name is GPT 4.0 I'm going to use that and then for API key you just copy this key and then you paste it here now I'm also going to disable all the other uh, models that I do not have access to with the Azure deployment and I'm going to enable this and as you see if it turns green it means the data is correct it means now you're going to use your model to work with cursor now you can just try it out Make sure things are working. I'm going to say use arrow function. And then if I go here, it automatically suggests me the code changes. I click on tab and then, yep, I'm using an arrow function now instead of the function keyword. That's it. This was super easy. All you need to do was go to founders up, apply for some credits. You get those credits in a day or two and then use those credits to create an Azure account and then deploy GPT-4.0 model and then start using it with cursor. Very simple, very easy to do. The only drawback about using GPT-4.0 here or using Azure for the, for the LLM is that Azure does not support Cloud, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And in my opinion, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is really the better model compared to GPT-40. GPT-40 is not bad at all, but Cloud 3.5 has beaten GPT-40 in all benchmarks, but it's not supported. It does, as, so it is supported by AWS and maybe even GCP, and there are programs for AWS and GCP as well, but they are a little bit uh, cumbersome to get into if you do not have a startup formed yet. My experience, Azure provides the fastest uh, onboarding process uh, especially if you do not have a legal entity set up yet if, especially if you're just getting started and in some cases even if you don't really have a startup you're just working on some projects uh, Azure really does provide you an easy way to sign up and then start using it and when I say Azure I actually mean Founders Hub because through Founders Hub you get Azure and all these other different benefits awesome thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found something useful and if you have questions, if you face any issues, do comment down below. I do read all the comments and I try to take suggestions from your comments. Um, Happy New Year once again. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.